And this is Jose Trujillo, I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio. Uh, I packed some of my stuff. And uh, today I want to talk to interior designers, art collectors, artists, art dealers. Very simple message, very simple. I just made a video about, about um, the whole gallery thing and, 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 and uh, you know, I touched on that. On, on how is it that galleries, artists think that, that galleries control the, the you know the, the the system and the artists and blah blah and there's a lot of kind of negativity around it. Uh, I'm here to tell you it's not like that. I don't think it's like that. I know certainly some galleries uh, have you know have created some bad reputation, uh, but but not the the more established ones who are like you know playing playing the right way. Anyways, the, the, the galleries I'm talking about are called novelty galleries. The ones that are, you know, kind of, eh, uh, you, 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 you pay <laughs> to show your work. <laughs> what is that? You know, anyways. Um, but good, uh, good galleries out there, which are many, uh, the reason why, if they care, for the most part, if they carry you, they only want to carry you. They don't want you to go arise somewhere else and try to do your own deals is because they're trying to protect their investment. They're going to invest in you. They're going to use their resources. They have a huge client list. They have a, they have media, they have, you know, they have different stuff and they're, and they're trying to protect their investment. Now, this doesn't mean that they're going to make you rich <laughs> if you get carried by one of them. It might mean that you land one or two great, you know, sales. I don't know, maybe more, maybe, maybe you make an impact. It really comes down to you. Most people think that it's the gallery. Most, most people think that someone's going to save them, which is, I don't know. Anyways, but uh, it, it comes down to the person, right? It's work. Uh, they're doing their, they're pulling their share. You pull yours, you know, they're, they're, that's, that's, that's how it is. It's just the way it is. But uh, what I'm trying to talk about is people think that the galleries are, you know, are a-holes for doing this. You know, if you, if you come with me, then you can't go with anyone else. But that's not the case at all. What it really means is that, well, even though that is the case, but it's not, it's not that black and white is what I'm trying to say. They don't want you to go out somewhere else because they, they're trying to protect their investment, one, right? Two, they're trying to make sure that you're not, um, you're not offering... Let's say that they put a price tag, three grand, five grand for one of your paintings or for photographs or whatever you do. And then, and then some collector somewhere else sees on your website that the same painting is half off, you know. The gallery is going to feel offended because the gallery is using all of the resources to get that sale. You know, so that's, that's why I'm saying this. So it's, it's, it's really very simple. It's just, you know. Play it right, play by the rules. If you are working the same thing, if you're working with an interior designer, well, before I forget that, if you're working with a gallery, right? And then a collector says behind, the, it's very common sense, but it has to be said because obviously some people just don't get it, you know? <laughs> or maybe they don't think it's that big of a deal, but it is because you're playing with money now. You're playing with, with people's investments, with people's efforts. So let's say that you are being represented by a gallery and a collector says to your ear, right? Uh, maybe the gallery, the, the gallery, the dealer is doing a presentation of your work, right? Is doing a formal presentation in a viewing room or whatever, or right, correct lighting or whatever, however they do it. And and they're doing a presentation, right? They, which is a, a sales presentation. They they don't call it that. It's a, it's viewing. <laughs> so so uh, the painting in the gallery costs five thousand dollars, right? And you get to keep, I don't know, 45% of that. Maybe you get to keep 2,000 bucks. I don't know. So <clears throat> the collector, right, sees that it's five grand, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the collector thinks about it. Well, I'll see, whatever, you know. And in a corner somewhere, the collector goes out and, you know, gets a little sip of wine or goes gets, gets a smoke or whatever. And, and he finds you somewhere else not close to the dealer, you know where I'm going, right? And the collector might might say to you, who knows, right? Because the collector's trying to maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe they're trying to get the better deal. And goes to you and says, you know what? Uh when is your show over? If you don't sell this one, I'll give you I'll give you three fifty or three five, you know, or three thousand, you know, thirty five hundred for it or whatever. And automatically you're like, yes, right? Wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. Eh, 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 eh. No, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> you, 
it's not only bad uh, for your reputation, it's, it's just bad, bad business. See, the gallery spent all of their efforts, whatever the efforts were, the resources, right? Like I mentioned, they're, 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 uh, they have a huge client list. They have media they work with uh, because they have a whole PR movement. That's the whole thing. It's a business, you know? So essentially, you're stealing their collector. And you're, you, you might be thinking because, because many, many are, I know this is common sense for many, many of you, but some of you may not be, so that's why I'm, I'm throwing it out. It might be common sense to, 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 to some of you, you know, but you might be thinking, you know what, it's my artwork. I decide what I want to sell it with once I'm not with the gallery anymore. You don't even know that maybe that gallery really likes your stuff and they might just be testing you. I know it sounds like a movie. But it could just be a test. It could just be someone, you know, a friend of the, of, the, of the gallery owner saying, you know, I really like his stuff, but I want to see if he's true. You know, if he's got, you know, if he's got sand, if he's, if he's the real deal, if he's a good hombre. <laughs> you know, and if you, if you go around them and you play with them that way, you know, forget about it. It's, uh, it, you know, word spreads out like wildfire. So, so, you know, I know it's common sense, but it's, you ha it has to be said. Play it safe. Play it right. And, and there's, no, there's nothing better than good business, right? And the other thing is that if you're working with interior designers, this is another thing. So let's say that an interior designer uh, or decorator or whatever likes your stuff. They're like, oh, you know, I don't know, you're in Memphis or you're, I don't know what city you're in, L.A., whatever, and, or country. And the interior designer says, I really like your stuff. I have a client who would love this, you know, who would love a painting or a photograph or a sculpture or whatever you do by you. Um, let's go meet the, the client, right? And all of a sudden you're there and you are making contact with the client and, and the client becomes kind of friendly with you, right? The, the, the designer's client. Really, the designer took you there to measure, to see, to get a feel for the colors and this and that and all that. And, <laughs> and all of a sudden, the, 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 the owner of the home might even tell you, or the building or whatever, you know, if they're remodeling or decorating a building. It doesn't matter. Uh, it might tell you, you know, under, under, uh, <laughs> under different circumstances, uh, if you do this painting for me, you know, I'll give you such and such, you know. Because maybe the because the collect the, the interior designer needs their fee, right? If you go around again, bad business. I know that it's 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 so common sense, but it has to be said, right? And interior designers that may be watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, art dealers that may be watching this, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's it's just bad business. The the client that you were generously taken to by the interior designer, by the generosity of the interior designer, belongs to the interior designer or the interior uh, decorator. That person is not your client. Even though you might become even friends with the person, the person, you, you might be really good friends, you know, you guys might start having brunches or whatever. The person's not your, it's not your client. The interior designer uh, spent effort, energy, money, the resources in order to 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 create that lead right and and eventually uh make a a client out of that person right and it has to be said because you know the, the, i i hear here and there you know not often but i used to hear more often because i used to work a lot before i started uh going online uh getting my hands full online i started work i worked with uh interior designers and decorators uh about 12, 13 years ago. And uh, and I used to hear this all the time, like, oh, this person got, you know, and I was like, oh my God, how did that happen? And I understood right away, right? This, this people, this is their, their, their client. It's not your client. So respect the client. <laughs> if you're working with someone else, I know it's common sense, but it's gotta be said. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. That, collect, that client is not yours. It belongs to whoever lead capture that client. And if you respect that, uh, the interior designer, the art dealer, is going to respect you even more. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.